everyone, this is Bobo from the Bar Server. I'm here to do a video on part-time jobs. Part-time jobs. This is probably uh, one of the most um, interesting things I liked about Mabby when I first played the game. And it's very, uh, it's very still used among new players and old players. So, might as well do a one-on-one -on -one video on it, yeah? Alright. So, let's begin and uh, start off with what are part-time jobs. Basically, they're, they're what they are. Part-time jobs... Ooh, hello, there's people in here. Part-time jobs are basically um, jobs that you can do on a Mabby. And um, to do that, you just talk to the uh, people, the NPCs, at certain times in the game and say like, hey, I want to do um, a part-time job uh, here. Uh, please accept, please accept me. Oh, hey, someone knows me. Hi. So right now I'm, I'm about to do Keith's uh, part-time job in Belvast and I'll tell you guys why. Keith's part-time job in Belvast I find is very, very, very um, interesting. You have to actually deliver a uh, package to a player within the game. This is only one of the few unique um, part-time jobs uh, on Mavi. Um, and you'll get a reward which is uh, most wanted, and it is a Phallus Fragment, which will take you to the awesome place of things and stuff, which I will explain more uh, in another video because it kind of branches off into more complicated stuff. Just know that it'll give you a Phallus Fragment, <laughs> and that's uh, used for a few things. Alright, um, so let's start off with the basic information of part-time jobs. There are three difficulties of, or I guess difficulties or categories, of uh, part-time jobs. There's a basic, int, and advanced. Basically, if you've never done a part-time job before, you start off with basic. Zero to fifty uh, part-time jobs will count as uh, basic. Once you start to do more part-time jobs on Mabby, you'll get towards to the intermediate level of uh, Mabby and that is basically more than um, 50, you have to complete at least 50 and it's up to 100 with at least a success rate of 70% so you guys are probably like what do you mean success rate Bobo? Well if you go to your part time job tab in your character info just press C or down here the um, right here where was it? Oh my god I don't even know a character what? I'm blind there! Wow, it's the first one. <laughs> Click one. Alright, so then you go to part-time job. And then you'll see um, the success rates of your um, part-time job stuff. Basically, um, you have to... Uh... Someone's talking to me something about package. Oh! Someone has to trade me the package. What good explanation. All right, so this person actually has me to tr <laughs> good good example right now. You're a part of my video. Thank you. So this person's part-time job is actually to trade me the package, and then I get this package, awesome package here, and I can open it. I can actually open it, and I get random stuff like, what is this? <laughs> I got a water crystal. I got a water and wind and clay crystal. Thank you very much. And they get to complete their part-time job. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, the success rate right here, part-time job, can get lower. For example, if you don't successfully trade your package for Keith, or if you don't trade like certain materials you need to trade in for your part-time job, or if you don't like basically if you don't do your part-time job right, um, your success rate will go down because your you know the NPC will be like, hey, you did it wrong, you failed. So I'm going to take Keith's part-time job right now. I'm going to be like, um, start conversation. That's what you, that's how you start. And he's going to look at you like, yes. And then you're going to have to go to part-time jobs right here, part-time jobs. And then boom, pop up. Just know that you have to actually do this at certain times. It's not always going to happen any time of the day. This specific part-time job begins at 7 a.m. Uh, so it's going to be different for all part-time jobs. I will put a link in the video below um, that indicates all the part-time jobs so you guys can kind of like look at it easier. Because it's kind of hard to explain like all of them. It's, it'll take forever. Anyways, uh, so here he'll tell you what the rewards are and stuff like that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and accept. Not everybody can get this uh, part-time job, but if it's all been taken, which is very unlikely, you can always go to another channel and uh, obtain from there. So here it says a maximum of uh, 30 slots. One one's already been taken, obviously this person next to me. And I'm going to take the next one and be like, yeah, deliver to Rogugenus. Okay, so this is an actual player on Mabby, hopefully, and not someone's pet. Um, this person was like super lucky to find find me as the person. So I'm gonna go ahead and be like, um, I'm gonna try to add this person. Like that's the f the quickest way you can do. Or no, wait, I'm gonna actually note this whisper this person. All right, you can start off with whispering. <laughs> How do you spell this guy's name? Rogugenus. Hi. Let's see if he responds. Most likely, some people that you get are AFK. So that is the downside to this um, part-time job. They might not even be there. Um, oh, yes, they're there. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, hi, I have a package for you from Belvis. Part-time job happy face and then you're gonna have to hope that they're not gonna be like a troll and be like ah, I'm not gonna take it <laughs> let's hope that um, they accept their package and most likely the person that you get will be somebody within the channel so then you should be able to whisper them um, oh god that lag and let's see what this guy says uh, oh I'm at Terra Stonehenge hurry I was just about to go oh uh, uh, okay I'm going I'm going let's go so luckily for me, this person was uh, able to respond right away. I'm gonna go, go, go. I'm gonna go, go, go. Where's Tone Stonehenge? Wait, where am I going? I'm on the wrong way. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Okay, Stonehenge is all the way up there. Luckily for me, this person's not too far. Some people like to add the um, the player and then um, go to their homestead. Uh, and meet there or note them, you know, do whatever you can, but just don't harass them because like some people will report you for that if you harass them be like, hey, hurry up and take this package. All right, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, ro Rogu, Rogu, where are you? There you are! Hello! So I'm going to go to exchange and I'm going to give them this awesome package. For you and complete and I'll be like thank you and that's like one of the unique things about Keith's part-time job is that you get to actually uh, like meet some people like with the or you can not meet people if they're AFK <laughs> so now I am done with this part-time job Take care. And vamos. So I'm going to go back to Keith and I'm actually going to have to wait there because you can't turn in part-time jobs uh, right away if you completed it really quickly. Um, you might have to like wait a bit. And I think it will show. I'm lost again. Where am I going? That way. There you go. So now you guys were able to see an example of like me receiving and uh, me actually like giving the, the thing. Alright, Belvis Bank, where are you? Up there. This place is really hard to navigate. Too many houses. There it is. Alright, just know that you don't want to CC or anything, log out, stuff like that. When you're in the middle of a part-time job, it's going to like pretty much like cancel everything. Alright, so if I talk to Keith, he'll be like, Did you finish the delivery report now? I can report it now. Yay. And now I'm going to be like, I want the Phalias fragment. Give me that. I'll be like, thanks. You're more diligent than you look. Wow. Okay. And that's it. There are many, many part-time jobs, not just this guy's. There are grocery part-time jobs. There are, um, uh, whatchamacallit. There are church part-time jobs, which is the most favored because church part part-time jobs will give you holy water um, and holy water is used for everything everybody needs holy water even the new players even the old players holy water is probably the most um, 
must still needed thing on my binogi. It can never really like be not needed. It's always needed. Um, so if you are looking for something uh, decent to sell and you're a new player or even if you're an old player, um, holy water is pretty decent. Okay, so now let's explain more about the next one. I forgot. I kind of got caught off there with the in. Let me just continue. I'm going all over the place with this um, video. Alright, so int, like I said, was a success rate of 70% or more, um, up to 100, and then you'll start to get advanced part-time jobs once you complete uh, more than 100 with a 92 success rate. Um, also, know that you can only do one part-time job of that type of day, so I just did uh, a bank part-time job, so if there is ever another bank part-time job in another town, I can't do it. Uh, same thing with things like church. You can't, you know, massively collect a bunch of holy water from uh, Tyr and then go to Dunbar and then do that one. You actually can only do one a day, uh, but you can do different, different types of part-time jobs um, uh, daily. So I can do the bank one right now, and then I can go ahead and do the church one uh, if I can. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and wing there because I have all these expiring wing, wing to Dunbar. And each part-time job is different. Uh, let's see. I'm going to talk to Krista. Oh, teleport again. Wow, there's too many teleporting going on. All right, I'm going to talk to um, the part-time job for Christelle. Be like, yo, I would like to have a part-time job here. And she has it. She only You only got eight errand hours to complete it because uh, she already started it. Um, and she's asking to get some potatoes. Ten potatoes. Got it. All right. Ten potatoes within eight errand hours or seven hours and 40 minutes. Okay. I can definitely do this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a weeding hoe and start to do this one. Um, because I've completed the bank part-time job, I got one count up on that one. If I complete Crystal's part-time job, I'll have one count up on the healer's one or the church ones, I believe. Sorry. The church part-time jobs. So if I click collect, I mean, I collect what I'm saying. If I clicked on character, go to part-time job, you'll see that there's our different types of uh, categories of part-time job. General shop, grocery, church, healers, things like that. All right now I'm doing the church one, so it's going to go up account. The bank one went up account, see? Two times. Success rate 100%. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to need a weeding hoe. Give me a weeding hoe here. And collect 10 potatoes. And then you also notice that when I get a part-time job, my title changes to the church volunteer. Kind of like lets people know that you're in the middle of a part-time job. I don't know. Like I honestly don't know what it does. It it does like it does give like maybe like a stat or something maybe. I don't know, but it's not even significant. It's just there temporarily. It's not a permanent title. So here I am gathering potatoes for my part-time job. Basically the quests are all simple. They're like gather potatoes, gather corn or uh, deliver package to so and so. You can also deliver packages to like NPCs and stuff like that. Um, it might. Ha there are some part-time jobs that even help you with your life talent. Things like handicraft, tailoring, blacksmithing. If you do certain part-time jobs, they will help you rank up your um, uh, tailoring, blacksmithing, or handicraft skill. Because it'll ask you to handicraft certain items, and they'll actually provide the items for you, and it'll count for um, training. So you want to take advantage of certain part-time jobs that will help you do things like that if you're trying to level up uh, a life skill or something. Alright, I'm on my last one. Last one. Alright, lucky bonus. More than ten. Alright, time to turn in. Turn in. Oh. Alright. Scarecrow in the way. Now, um, do know that if you do not do your a part-time job for that specific uh, job category, like the church part-time job, if I don't do a church part-time job for three days, for three real in-game days, the count actually starts to drop down. So if you're gonna if you're gonna wonder like why did I why did my count drop? I I had like a hundred, like several days ago now it's like down to like 20 so that's ba that's basically um because uh you haven't done the part-time job uh 
in a while and it's like saying like and eh, this person's not that diligent so it'll start to drop your count just uh, do keep that in mind so if I talk to uh, Crystal right now she'd be like no I don't want to take it yet because she doesn't have that thing where it says report so I actually have to wait a bit to wait a bit stand here and wait a bit anyways um, you also there are also some interesting things about uh, part-time jobs for uh, that you guys might want to know uh, on Fridays, there's a 20% increase on rewards, 20% increase on rewards, specifically if you do part-time jobs. If you are a life talent, you'll have a 50% increase in gold and EXP, and the item rewards will have a 10 to 20% uh, increase. So um, that is one thing to keep in mind if you're a life talent. So you can literally play uh, Mabinogi without combating at all, which is kind of slow, but you know, you can still be full on life talent and just do nothing but part time jobs, life skills, level up, get gold, things like that. You can still do that without fighting. It's kind of slower, but um, it's still an option for those who are, you know, who don't believe in um, fighting. Now, there's also some notable uh, part time jobs I want to share with you guys. It's um, a few part-time jobs that some people might not uh, realize because um, what you call it they have like special um, rewards and stuff like that hold on let me see if I can turn this in report now thank you all right so I have reported and got my holy water all right, I'm going to show you guys some uh, notable uh, part-time jobs that you guys um, might want to know. So as you can see, the first part-time job that we did earlier was Keith's part-time job in Tyra's bank. It was able to give you a Phallus Fragment, so that is one notable um, part-time job uh, to keep in mind that it gives you an uh, interesting reward. Another one is Vanillin in Belvast, so I'm going to go ahead and count warp there so you guys can see her. All right, so Vanillin and Belvas, right here. She's right here. Her part-time job reward is seasonings. She will give you seasonings for your food that will help increase the stats of your food, uh, crafted food that you make. So not too many people know about this. Um, that is uh, one thing that she gives for her part-time job. Another person that's interesting in part-time job rewards is Bari, right here in Belvas as well. Bari right here, if you do his part-time job. Um, his part-time job will give you either like an ensemble enchant, which is a uh, pretty decent enchant for music instruments. Uh, and he also, once you get to advanced level, he'll give you, um, a Belvast instrument box with has like special instrument stuffs, like instruments. Like, let me see if I can find the list. Uh, flash you, uh, instruments, which is, I don't know if you guys want. <laughs> he gives like, um... The mandolins, the drums, all the instruments that you can buy in specific colors that are that might be flashy and stuff like that. Um, the most uh, popular one is probably the lyre because a lot of people uh, you can't really get the lyre anywhere else besides like gachapons, blacksmithing maybe I think. Do, do they black? I think the blacksmith. Um, and uh, for like. A million over a million ducats in uh, commerce thing. So if you don't want to do that, and you want to get a li you want to have a chance of getting a liar, you can do the Belvas uh, part-time job. Uh, so yeah, that is basically one interesting, notable uh, part-time job to keep in mind. <clears throat> Another noticeable, no, noticeable. What I'm saying, notable uh, part-time job is. Uh, Let's see, Glennis. I just left Dunbarton. All right, it's all good. I'll just use a wing. Back to Dunbarton. Glennis's part-time job is basically the grocery storekeeper of Dunbarton. All right here. If you do Glennis's part-time job. 
she will give you two homestead seeds, random homestead seeds. Uh, so not to, uh, there's some people that know about this, but it's kind of like a secret reward in a way. She give you other stuff too, um, but mostly it's guaranteed you're going to get two homestead seeds. If you don't know what time they do their part-time job, they might have like a uh, sign nearby like this right here. It'll say, uh, grocery part-time job is wanted, blah, blah, blah. Uh, recruit period, noon, when the shadow points directly north. So noon is literally Mabinogi time, noon, not like real time. So 12 p.m. PST. Oh, uh, no, sorry, not PST. 12 p.m. Mabu Uh Talk to Glennis, or you can talk to Glennis, do start conversation, be like part-time jobs. Oh, it's still open. Only two errand hours left. I'm not going to do it. Um, actually, maybe I can do it. Two errand hours to get five berries. I can do this. I got five berries to get... No, I, I mean, I got to get five berries in two hours. Can you do it? Can I do it? Maybe I can do it. Pet, help me. Um, so this is... Or maybe I'll just show an example of failing. <laughs> of failing a part-time job. Why is my pet not hitting it? Okay, come on, pet. Give me berries. Let's get, get berries. Yeah, one berry. So that is uh, another thing about part-time jobs is just to do them at certain, know all the times of the part-time jobs you want to do and try to do them all like at, in one day if you can. Because you can't really do more than one at a time. You might want to start off with the, the earliest one and then go to the next one and then the latest one like that. All right, I think that was five. Hold on. Was that five? Shoot. Yeah, it was five. Ah, ha, ha, ha. One hour to spare. So I'm going to talk to Glennis report now and you can see the homestead seeds is not on the list but once i report it it will be so i just click the experience one and then complete complete finish and then you'll see da, 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 and there it is homestead seeds um it's a secret reward in a way she like slides slightly like slips you some homestead seeds after like that <laughs> other reward <laughs> So that is a, uh, a notable uh, part-time job you guys want to know about uh, in Mappy. There's not too many of these. Another one I want to show you guys is Ascon in uh, Port Cobb. And I also think not too many people know about this one either. So let's go on over to Ascon in Port Cobb. It's literally the neighboring town next to Dunbarton to the east. Port Cobb, here we go. Do, do, I love the music here. Ascon is going to be all the way at the lighthouse. So see that lonely island right there? Oh god, teleporting. Okay. Oh god, teleport. Okay. You know what? You guys should know that you people constantly teleport for some reason on the sheep. Uh... So I'm just going to use a different pet. All right. Ah, uh, da, da da Here he is. The lonely old man sitting at the, um, the island. His part-time job. I forgot what time it is. Let me see. Part-time job. Oh, it's still on for three hours. Okay. Let's see if I can finish it. Make four thick spars. All right. So this is an example of a, a handicrafting one. Do I have a handicrafting kit? Oh shoot, I can't even do this without a handicrafting kit. Where's my hand? I don't have a handicrafting kit. Panic! Panic! Where's my life skill stuff? Life. Do I have a life skill pet? Life skill tools? Please tell me you have a handicraft kit. Yes! See, th this is why I have. I love pets. You know, they hold things for you. Alright, emergency situations. Alright, so I have to make thick spars. Do this. I got one maybe hour. I can do this. Ooh, sweating. Thick spars. So well, let me just find it somewhere on here. Thick spars. Where is it? Where is it? Too many stuff on here. Where's the ingredients? I'm just throwing in there. There it is. Thick spars. <laughs> Add materials. That's easier. Cue it up. I think he needs me to make how many? Four. So the, here's an example of handicrafting. See, I got some handicrafting uh, job thingamajiggers done. And if you need to actually handicraft uh, this type of... Oh, I failed. See, I failed. I got some handicraft uh, training. <laughs> uh, you can actually train your life skills. Oh, no, no, stop failing. No, what's happening? Come on. 
Come on, Bobo, you can do this. Two, two more, two more. Close all these windows, they're all in the way. Inventory is a complete mess. Alright, so I, I made four. But if you want, you can still like continue to just make, use up all the uh, stuff um, just for training purposes. Because he gives you a good amount to like, even if you fail, he gives you a good amount. So alright, just talk to him, I'm gonna report now. And um, he has a chance, has a chance, not guaranteed, of giving you wood boards, which I failed to get here, I think. So it's not always going to be on the list. Your rewards are not always going to be the same. It can be different. But um, just letting you guys know right now that Ascon has a chance of giving you wood boards, um, which is something that people might need for handicraft training. All right, let's see. Who else is a noticeable? Not notable, notable part time jobbers. Um, Larry. Larry and Amin Macha. So I'm gonna go there. Larry and Amin Macha. I think it's closer to here. Let's hope. <laughs> Opening my map. Where is it? In main Masha. Oh god. Alright. Oh, I forgot. The sheep. No! I summoned another sheep. It's a habit. Okay. <laughs> Just stay on my bike. He won't make me teleport too much. Alright. So where is... Oh, it's on that side. Larry. 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 Larry and Main Matcha is uh, at the puppet shop. Right here in the corner, right here. Where is he? I think he's in the back somewhere. Ugh. Where'd that guy? There he is. <laughs> okay, that horse was in the way. Okay. Larry and a main matcha right there at the uh, alchemy ovens. You can actually use these alchemy ovens, by the way, for those that didn't even know. It's not just Taltine. All right, so Larry, do his part time job, which I don't think it's available right now. Nope, not his. He'll say, like, I'm afraid. So that's another way to find out, like, when they do part time jobs. He'll actually tell you when you click on part time jobs. He's all like, I'll be assigning at 7 a.m. Okay. Basically, Larry um, gives you. Uh, marionette um, repair sets or marionette potions so if you don't want to buy them from uh, Hugh you can actually do Larry's part-time job and he'll give you those and I believe that's the only part-time job that gives that last but not least um, in terms of a notable uh, part-time jobs is quarantine and Tara Let's go to Conantine Tar Oh, so you do you will have like random leftovers of materials, you can just drop it. Doesn't matter. Where's my wings? It's gone on over to Tara. Tara, the most luggiest town in the world. Tara, I mean, quarantine is located at Pontiff's Court. Oh, shoot. Right over there. I can't decrease my altitude. There you go. And again, not too, not too many people know about this one, this part-time job. Her part-time job, which I don't think I can do right now. I'm pretty sure I can. Nope. Uh, her part-time job basically gives um, holy flames. Now, some people don't even know what holy flames are. Holy flames 
are another, um, I guess you can consider them as a uh, crazier version of holy water. Um, basically, if you use holy flame on your items, um, it will have a chance of uh, increase, like possible effects of increasing your min, max damage on weapons, critical, um, so that is, uh, that's interesting, that's kind of like, if you think about it, it's kind of like a enchant in a way, sort of, not really, um, other equipment, it can increase the strength, int, dex, will, luck, protection, defense of it as well, this is, this is all holy flame, by the way, um, and, um, it cannot be stacked with holy water. So just do know that um, if you use holy water on your um, and your your weapon or something, and then you use the holy flame on it, it the holy flame will override the holy water. Um, uh, yeah. So for those that don't know what holy water is for, um, they're for to bless your items. So basically, um, they don't the durability does not die as fast. Um, Holy Flame does the complete opposite. If you use Holy Flame on your item, the durability will drop at a 1.5 normal rate. So you actually lose durability faster, um, but you get a chance of getting like some some better stats on it. So that is um, one thing to keep in mind. It also decreases Holy Flame also decreases the success rate of repairs. So, if you're going to repair your item that has a holy flame on it, don't repair it. <laughs> uh, what you do is bless it with holy water and then and remove the holy flame um, bless, blessing on it and then repair it. So, um, that is uh, one thing uh, to keep in mind is that if you try to repair your item with a holy flame, it has a higher chance of failing. Um, so yeah, that is basically what you can get only from Quarantine. She's the only person that can give you Holy Flame. Not too many people use it. I mean, you know, it's like no, nobody really wants to use items that decreases your repair rate and durability faster just for a mere amount of uh, stats. Um, but if you do actually, you know, consider those mere amounts as uh, important, uh, that is what you can get from Quarantine is uh, stacks and stacks and goodies stuff of uh, Holy Flame. This is basically my part-time 101 video. Um, if I've left anything out, um, I apologize. Feel free to add them in the uh, chat or the comments below, and I will definitely, definitely, definitely uh, give you guys a two thumbs up for that. All right, one more thing before I leave is that if you are a life talent um, and you're doing part-time jobs, you have a random chance of getting a um, a quest, a special quest random chance after doing an advanced part-time job uh, that gives you a piece, a random equipment piece of a Belmont set. A Belmont set is an outfit, a special outfit that you can only get through this quest and like, basically it's a, it's a pretty rare, a rare item I guess. It's not super rare, some people will sell it. Um, there's a few people out there that does a lot of uh, part-time jobs and they get the quest and they don't want the item so um, it might be up for sale. But, 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 if you want to get the Belmont set, you will need to be in Life Talent and have, uh, be doing advanced, uh, part-time jobs. And that's how you can get the Belmont set. Um, yeah. So, that's that. There are also certain titles that you can get for doing lots of part-time jobs. You can get the Diligent title for doing 100 part-time jobs. Um, I think it's 100. I could be wrong. Uh, you can get the King of Diligence, which I think it's, like, 10,000 part-time jobs and that is like really crazy it has to be one type too it can't be like a total of different d different job types of part-time jobs it has to be one specific type of part-time job uh to get the title the king of diligence um and that's it that's basically what you can get from part-time jobs hopefully you guys like my video uh please like and subscribe and like again stay awesome and do part-time jobs and give me holy water because I need a lot of them, like lots of them. Lot, lot, lots of holy water. <laughs>